Hey everyone, welcome to Small Screen Reactions. My name is Andrew and I'm here to react to The Walking Dead Season 1, Episode 4. This is a request from someone on Patreon. You know who you are. Thank you for requesting. Um, this is very fun. I, I've watched the first three. This is my last one for the month um, of April. Yes, April. So it's actually March right now. It's like March 31st, actually. Last day of March. And I'm just getting really ahead because I'm on spring break. Well, today and tomorrow are my last days of spring break, sadly. But I'm getting way ahead on requests for the upcoming month. That way I don't have to worry about them as much during the month. Because sometimes, because I really only get to film on the weekends. And if I'm busy on the weekends, I don't get to really film as much. So I really don't get to film too much in general during the school year. It's very complicated until I have breaks. And then I try to get as much as I can. So a lot of times I'm like doing requests. Which means I don't have as much time to do my normal stuff. So I have to like find a way to balance it. And work a little extra hard. Which I don't mind. Because I love the requests. I love doing something new and different a lot of times. But it does take up a little extra time. But that's why Spring Break is kind of nice. I get to get this out of the way a little sooner. That way, the, during April itself, I can actually focus on all my other shows. Which will be nice. But soon enough is summer vacation. A couple of months. Almost there. And then I'll be filming all summer long so much. So, can't wait. Uh, Alright. Again, thank you for watching. I hope let's enjoy... I hope let's enjoy. I don't know where I was going with that, actually. Let's just enjoy this episode, okay? Uh, together. Uh, thank you for watching. And here we go. We're just taking a boat ride. Oh, they're fishing. Okay. It's some nice water, at least. It's pretty. What? Nothing. It's not nothing. It's always something. It's the boat called Winona. Didn't Dad teach you clinch knots? No way. Fine. I'm making it up. What is this conversation? Did Dad teach you mostly dry lures? Yeah, you. What? You're kidding. He taught you two, two very different things. You know Dad on the fishing thing. Do you think? I only spent my entire childhood with my ass in a boat. <laughs> but in my day, getting the hook suited, we were fishing for the dinner table. Not us. We always threw them back. Always. Oh, very different childhoods. Up. Yeah. I'd be like, people change. It's not his fault we were born 12 years apart. Oh, that, wow. Yeah. That's a big difference, yeah. This was not behavior developed over time. This was a sudden change. Why are we having this conversation right now? This feels very out of random. Just weird. You think he did it for us? Because he knew we were so different. Oh, that's kind of nice. Your kids are different, teach them different things. And I need to throw them back. All right, remember his rule. No crying in the boat. <laughs> Scares the fish. Mom and Dad. Yeah, they I did. Mean, maybe Florida wasn't beautiful. Maybe it's better there. It's Florida. What do you think? I think you have a bite. Even with the wrong knots. Mm hmm Okay, that was a weird but kind of sweet moment to begin the episode with. It does kind of remind you every, how much everyone's lost, probably, and the shit they're going through, each person. What's this dude doing up there? We haven't really seen this guy much. He's barely talked. We don't know his name. What are the graves for? Whose graves? Oh, God. Yeah. Let's see which travels faster. I don't care if every walker in the city hears it. Yeah, calm down, Daryl. Do rag or something? A do rag. Again, why did he chop his hand off and not the handcuff? That's my question. I guess the, uh, the saw blade was too dull for the handcuff. Really? I don't... 
but not too soft on bone. Like it was, it was able to saw through bone, but not through the thin, this thin metal. No, I'm all that. No. You gotta put it in the bag, really. What are you gonna do with the hand? We're not exactly near. There's no hospitals. How much more blood if you did? You gotta sew the hand back on. It's gonna think it's magically gonna work. He's a hunter. He knows how to track. So maybe he can track Merle well, down. You just digging graves for the fun of it? He looks very surprised. Jim? Jim. You okay? Um. Keep this up, you're gonna keel over out here. Y yeah, what's going on, Jim? Okay. He's not a very chatty man. Oh. Ew. Yeah, I feel like I saw crossbow, bone arrow. I think crossbow might be easier than bone arrow. Because you can also, like, I don't know, control it. It's a little easier. Except, I guess crossbows are a little heavier. Yeah, like, you don't, like, you have to do that, too. Bone arrow, you can just go, like, multiple in a row a little faster. But then bow and arrow, I feel like, can break easier, too. And they're bigger. Baby, will you look at that? Hey, check it out. <laughs> we got fish dinner. Thank you. Thank Dale. It's his canoe and gear. Come on, look. Look at all the fish. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Whoa. Teach you all about nail knots and stuff. If that's okay. Well, you won't catch me arguing. <laughs> yeah, it's good to learn a lesson how to do things. We may have a bit of a problem. Yeah, he's kind of losing it a little bit. If you bleed not, you said so yourself. But, oh, flames. Oh, did he cauterize his wound? Ooh. Ouch. But look, they have fire. I would take those. Blow them out and have a couple. Yeah. Cauterized. Ew. I'm happy they didn't show us that. Really happy. I bet you kill Merle, but Merle, he'll take that on faith. He's mm. lost a lot of blood. Yeah? And this bread. It's probably real stale, though. Why wouldn't he? He's out there alone, as far as he knows. True. He doesn't. Doing what he's got to do. All he knows, no one's ever come back, so. But also, this is a pretty safe building. But he wasn't handcuffed anymore. He was in this building. He had fire. He could have, like, sheltered in place, found some food. Take a tally. Do what you want. I'm going to get him. Daryl, wait. Hands off me. Can't stop me. I don't blame you. Family, I get that. He'd help you check a few blocks around, but only if we keep a level head. Yeah, don't go guns a blazing, yeah. running around shouting. Only if we get those guns first. I'm not strolling the streets of Atlanta with just my good intentions, okay? Fair. Honestly, fair. Okay, buddy, talk a little bit. Say hi. Hey, Jim. What do you want? I was just a little concerned, man. That's all. Dell says you've been out here for hours. Digging graves. So? But you heading to China? Jim, what does it matter? I'm not hurting anyone. But yeah, it's a little weird. It's, a, it's 100 degrees today. Yeah. Keep this on. <laughs> sure, I can't watch me. Jim, they're not going to say it, so I will. <laughs> You're scaring people. Yeah. You're scaring me and Carol's father. I got nothing to be scared of. Why'd you bring the kids up here? I would have kept the kids down there, maybe. Hey, what the hell, people? I'm out here by myself. Why don't y'all just go and leave me the but hell? But why? Away? It's weird. Then what? Then you're gonna beat my face in like Ed Peltier, aren't you? Ooh. Y'all seen his face, huh? What's left of it? Well, that was different circumstances. Yeah, that's what happens when someone crosses you. 
Well, it wasn't Krauss and him. That was you way different. There. Well, he was hurting his wife. That is their marriage. That is not his. But it's not judge and jury. Who voted you King Bob? Huh? That's I not. Argue with you, all right? Just give me the show, okay? Oh, oh no! Please no. just give me the chill. Oh god! Oh god! Oh! Okay. Oh, you got no right. Stop! You got no right. Hey, you're freaking just out. Hey, you hey, you hey, need hey, to hey, chill, hey, man. Chill. I told that to my wife and the two boys. I said it a hundred times. Oh. It didn't matter. No, Dad. He came out of nowhere, just pulled him right out of my hand. Damn. He's been suffering quietly for so long. The reason he snapped. Away was <laughs> You're not doing this alone. Even I think it's a bad idea, and I don't even like you much. <laughs> it's a good idea. If we go up there in a group, we're slow, drawing attention. If I'm alone, I can move fast. That's true. He's done this many times coming into the city by himself. Here's the alley I dragged you into when we first met. That's where Daryl and I will go. Mommy. Your crossbow is quieter than his gun. Fair. Yeah, true. You've been a sailing here. Two blocks away, why? I may not be able to come back the same way. Walkers hmm. might cut me off. You may have to if that happens, keep I going. I will go back to Daryl. All the way around to that alley where you guys are. Whichever direction I go, I got you in both places to cover me. That's true. That's fair. Good. Afterwards, we'll all meet back here. I did. What'd you do before all this? Delivered pizzas? <laughs> Why? You're a great strategist for a pizza delivery boy. I always love Glenn. He's just so smart. And it's unexpected. No one expects it. He's just this young kid who's got great ideas. Level head. You got some balls for a channelman. Oh, Weird. ew. Whatever. Ew. Daryl, come on. I want to like you. Please. Okay. okay, keep going. Don't stop. Just keep moving. Light on your feet. Move. Come on, you got this. Oh god, who's this kid? Whoa, don't shoot me! Don't what shout. Do Shh. My brother, her... mm. Alright, keep going forward with the Oh god, they're all over the place. Ooh. Answer me. Are you me? Who the fuck is this dumbass kid? Shut the fuck up, you dumbass! Oh god. Fuck, who are these dumbasses? Get a gun out, grab a gun. Oh fuck. Who are these dumbasses ruining everything? Oh my god. They're getting, he's getting kidnapped! No, Glenn! Oh god. Really? Why are you taking Glenn? Look at him for Glenn. Look at him being all someone who just said some bad things and doesn't like him. We gotta save Glenn. No way. We got we gotta protect Glenn at all costs. Yeah, he was kind of like a little bit of a psychotic break. He kind of needs some shade, relaxing. He needs to breathe. Are they doing school right now? Sorry if I scared you. You had sunstroke. Nobody's blaming you. You're not scared now, are you? No, yeah, sir. A little bit. What do you say? I had a reason. Don't remember. Wow. Sunstroke kind of like hits you. I've never had it before. Right. Oh. Had some bad nightmare. We're not back yet. We don't need to talk about it. As yeah. police officer, son. He helps people. Probably just came across some folks needing help, that's all. Um, that well, man, kind of the opposite. He's tough as nails. I don't know him well, but I could see it in him. Yeah. All right. There ain't nothing gonna stop him from getting back here to you and your mom. I promise you that. Okay, that's a nice moment. He's like, I scared these kids. I need to make it right and make sure they're not scared anymore. Keep your boy close. Don't Aww. ever let him out of your sight. After what he's gone through here. Yeah. 
could have taken Merle too. Merle? What kind of hick name is that? Wow. Well. name my dog Merle. <laughs> oh god, oh god. Yeah, you don't, don't piss off Daryl right now. He will kill you. You wanna see what happened to the last guy that pissed me off? <laughs> Maybe when we took our friend, all we want to do is talk to Good cop, bad cop. Something out. <clears throat> this is our first time dealing with not zombies as the bad guys, but other people. Spend next puto here. Cut some dude's hand, man. Show it to me. Shut up. Hey, that's that battle right there. Almost shot me in the ass with an arrow, man. What's up, Well, huh? you were attacking him, so. Beats on him, threatens to cut off his feet. Felipe gets an arrow in the ass. And you want a calm discussion? Well, you jumped them and took one of their friends. Who's that dude to you anyway? You don't look related. He's one of our group, more or less. I'm sure you have. He's their like friend, him. yeah. Do my brother in there? But I got Asian. Interested? I have one of yours. You have one of mine. Equal trade. Sounds like an Move equal on. trade. Don't sound even to me. Um. <laughs> Come on, man. My people got attacked. Where's the compensation for their pain and suffering? More your the people attacked them. The bag was in the street. Anybody could come around and say it was there. We supposed to take your word? Any supposed to take your word? To stop my people from unloading on you right here and now, and I take what's mine. The fact that you're gonna get some of your people killed and zombies are gonna come. Or not. Yeah. Oh yeah. They got someone too. Oh, they got Glenn up there. Fuck. See which side spills more blood. This guy thinks he's so cool and tough. And they're like, everything he says can be like, it's a contradiction. I'm like, oh, my guns. But it's his guns, but oh, it's, it's just stupid. You you guys attacked my guys. I'm like, you guys attacked them first. So they were defending themselves. De Dobbies. Think that Vado across the way is just gonna hand him over? Calling G a liar? You part of this? You wanna hold on to your teeth? <laughs> Glenn, worth that to you. Glenn's proven how valuable he is to this group. And he did save his ass. Glenn just idiots stuck in a tank. He could have walked away, but he didn't. Neither will I. He's a good guy. I didn't say that. He's got a plan. Head back to camp. And tell your family what. Yeah. And this together. Not all in the bag. That's because they're not yours. I thought I mentioned that. Let's just shoot you these did. right now. Let's just not listening. Unload on their asses. That's it. Yeah, that's gonna work out in your favor. I'm gonna chop up your boy. I'm gonna feed him to my dogs. Well, wrong thing to say, cause you're fucked now. I told you how it has to be. Are you willfully deaf? My hearing's fine. You said come locked and loaded. You did. Okay, then we're here. Yeah. One shot, you're dead. One pull of the finger. Blow your head up. Trouble, but he pulled himself together. You make him here. Yeah. I need my man, but like your people took. He's on Mr. Gilbert. Come, come. I show you. Yeah. And this is medicine. Listen to the grandma. Let him pass. Yeah, be, stay with the grandma. She'll keep you safe. They got real lucky she came around. Well, like, they have a whole bunch of elderly people? Abuela. Like a Abuela. little hospital? He has asthma attacks. Couldn't get his breath all of a sudden. Thought you were being eaten by dogs. <laughs> those little doggies. Oh, look at those. Show. Oh, yeah, don't, not a big fan of chihuahuas, but I love dogs. You're the dumbest son of a bitch. Yeah, I really. I walked in there ready to kill every last one of you. Yeah. I'm glad it didn't go down. You starting a fire war with all these elderly people. We'd have fought back. It wouldn't be the first time we've had to take the food, the medicine. They're not there to take food and medicine. They just want the guy back. That's it. 
Me and Felipe were the only ones who stayed. So stop causing fights. Felipe's a nurse. Special care provider. Me? I'm a custodian. Oh. Kind of take by force? That's not who we yeah. are. I was out of know. My people got attacked. Fair. For, to them, they just see other people coming. It changed. No. Same as it ever was. Sure, it was just people more open. Take him. People more open about it, and you can just see it more. So we, because they can. They need something to look up to. Gonna give him a gun? Gonna give him a few guns to protect themselves? That was nice. It was like they need help. Then we came back to Atlanta for the hat. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> Giving away half our guns. Seriously, how long do you think they got? How long do any of us? It's fair. I don't know. What? Oh my god. Where the hell's our van? You left it Someone right there. Someone we'll take it. took Merle. the Merle. Son of a bitch. You know, they take us from just back to camp. Yeah. Oh no. They gotta get back quickly. They got all the weapons. And Merle's gonna be a dick. How can you not have any? I have been informed of the impending apocalypse. I'd have stocked up. <laughs> it's Amy's birthday tomorrow. Oh. I've been marking days and... Deep breath. I'm sure I'll find something here. Oh, Well, Dale. I, uh, built up the rocks all around, see? So the flames can be a little higher and have them be hidden. Okay. I do understand. <laughs> yeah, it's understandable. They were a little freaked. You need to help to get help. Why don't you come outside with everybody? Hell with them people. Wouldn't piss on them if the hedge was on fire. Yeah, but we don't want them out there anyway. Why don't you stay here? No. Keep your daddy company. No. She wants to join in. Come on. All right. Yeah, hey, no one wants to be with you. you. Don't need to be bothering me no more the rest of the night. <laughs> and I don't care less. Did they run all this way? How far did they go? And how did, how are they about to get there around the same time as Mo? How long ago did Mo leave? He's driving. He should be there already. What? Same time, winding that thing like a village priest saying mass. I wondered this myself. <laughs> I'm missing the point. At least did a speed bump for a good long while. But there's the old... Every day winding that stupid watch. Time. It's important to keep track. Of is it at this point, days, really? At least. And not spend all of your breath trying to conquer. Well, okay. Good. Wise old Dale. You are so weird. <laughs> <laughs> Faulkner. William Faulkner. Okay. Maybe my bad paraphrase. I have to pee. Jeez, you try to be discreet around here. <laughs> Shouldn't no one be alone ever? I thought I told y'all to leave me the hell alone, didn't I? What? Hey! It's a zombie, isn't it? What I say? It is, yep. Uh oh. Ratatouille. Oh. I'm not too sad he's dead. Oh! Oh shit! Oh! Oh no! Oh, she a goner. How did all the zombies get here? Oh shit! Oh no. Okay, where are the others? It's not Merle. It's the zombies. I don't know how they all got here though. Shit. Oh, oh shit. Oh, he, oh God, we're just killing people off left and right here. Oh, she's a goner. Oh. No. Oh, right for a birthday. Oh, whoever this girl is, she's gone. Ew. 
Go for the head, people. Oh shit, oh shit. There we go. Good timing. And then nighttime too, so this is even worse. What the hell happened here? Damn. We lost some people today. How do they not hear them coming? Didn't they have those perimeter cans? Like, how did... How did they all come at once without anyone knowing? They've got to get farther away from the city now. They've got to move far. She's going to turn to a zombie, isn't she? Oh, be careful. They had this nice moment in the beginning of the episode. I should have known that meant one of them was going to die. I wasn't thinking about it. Ugh. For these kids to see, too? Damn. I remember my dream now. Damn. Why I dug the holes. For this? You have a premonition or something? Can he see into the future? Is he Raven? What the fuck? Oh my god! What a stressful ending to this episode! It was a rough episode already, and then they kind of like, okay, it's all good now. Everyone's chilling. I should've known. Everyone's chilling, having fun, relaxing. And then, like, Daryl, Rick, and Glenn, that group, they're all good too now. They're coming back. Everyone's pretty good. We're all worried about milk now. But then, it's not even milk we have to worry about. It's just the random horde of zombies that comes to camp and kills some people. Oh my god. All those guns and bullets they just got came in real handy, but they also just wasted so many of them right away. But if they didn't have them, if they didn't get them, then they would have been a little more doomed. It would have been harder. They could have lost more people, so I guess it's good they had them. But damn, they just got it, and now they lost so much of it. So annoying. Oh, my God. Well, that was a wild ending. Amy's gone. Damn. Poor Andrea. She, had a, she was trying to get a gift for her birthday. Ed's gone. Not too sad about that. Hopefully that means good things for Carol. She'll be a little happier. And her daughter, too. There was no need to have Ed around, really. Um... I guess we'll move, they're going to have to move somewhere. This is not a safe spot anymore. we got to go either higher up in the mountains, um, farther into the woods, just farther away from any civilization. The farther from civilization, the better. And go full rough in it, where you're just going to have to forage and hunt. Live old school. Go into, like, the Appalachian Mountains or something. You won't, shouldn't find too many zombies there, I feel like. I don't know. Just go into the mountains somewhere. I feel like that's probably the safest. I would say, like, an island or something, but islands, you're not going to have as many resources as, like, the woods, where you'll at least have, like, stuff to build shelter. You'll have animals roaming, plants to eat, stuff like that. That's a little safer coverage. From, like, natural weather, too. Alright. Well, that was Wild and I'm intrigued to see what's going to happen next. So I guess I'll have to wait till another time to watch it. Another month of requests, possibly. And that means I have to wait. You have to wait. Sorry. Um, but this was a fun watching these four episodes all in a row, kind of. And really getting into the show. I think the season's only, like, six episodes. So that means, like, two more very short season one like extremely short why is that can someone tell me because it's bizarre 
even for like a first season, usually it's at least like 10 episodes, maybe eight, but six feels real short. Unless I'm wrong, and then it's actually more episodes than I thought, but for some reason I feel like it's six. It's my brain. I have bad memory, so let me know. Alright, thank you for watching. Again, thank you for the person who requested this. You know who you are. And thank you for everyone who watched, and I hope you have enjoyed my reaction. I will see you guys next time. Bye.